Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Sessa here bringing us a really cool video where I'm going to showcase you how to make a transparent gradient effect that I have no idea that I knew how to do until I tried it on accident and made it happen and now I have it. I want to show you guys as well and I'm actually for the record literally using this in a campaign that is not even out yet, but it's okay. It's a variation. I just wanted to show you guys. Let's hop into it. So let's do it. So it's super, super simple. And what I have in front of me right now is a cutout of a photo of a person and a black background. For the record, this effect does not need the following. I just did that for my case, just for this you know, example right here. So what I will do though, is make a copy of this photo. And I'm gonna use this photo as the texture in this case, just to show you guys how cool the effect is without even using a texture yet, okay? So with this photo, I'm gonna control T to free transform it. I'm gonna make it nice and big. I'm gonna rotate it a little bit, just to give a little more stylistic approach. Cause again, this is actually not a texture. It's just a photo. So. With this, I'm gonna take this nice big photo. It is cut out as well. I'm actually gonna take it, delete the layer mask so it completely has a black background, which is the original of the photo does, okay? So with this, I'm gonna go into filter, camera raw filter, and inside camera raw filter, I'm gonna up the actual highlights and lower the shadows. So I'm gonna before and after, hold control, zoom in really quick, and I'm gonna go to highlights right here, put this up to around 10 to 15%, and then shadows to a negative 10 to 15%, as well as your texture, it's maybe like a 20-ish, would be pretty good. Now, for the record, if you guys are using the newest tone of Photoshop or newest update of Photoshop, you go to the top right corner. For the record, I know it's crashing a lot in, in camera filter. If this is one of you guys, go to the top right corner, click on the actual settings, go under performance and choose where it says use graphic processor. Turn that off and you will no longer crash until we get an update. Unfortunately, Adobe is just, Adobe. So anyway, press OK. So now we have this here. I want to go down to the adjustments tab and it, it does take a little bit longer, by the way, as you can see, just because you don't have a graphics processor. Anyway, go to your adjustments tab and use gradient map, not gradient. Right click and then do clip mask just like so. And now for this gradient color, you can choose color on left hand side, black on the other. It'll always be color and black. So I'm gonna choose a red on the left hand side and a black on the right hand side. So red for shadows, black for highlights. Now, of course, that is inverted and in what you would call basically, what is it called? Anyway, you guys get the point, okay? Negative, regardless, right? So what you can do is, of course, you can choose to use black on the left-hand side and right on the other side and being color. It does not matter whatsoever, but you will get a different effect when I say it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter in the sense of you can't make it wrong, okay? So you press okay. Then on this layer that you, of course, duplicated or your texture layer, in this case is my photo layer, I'm gonna double click on this, use the layer mask, go to where it says uh, blending options, just like so, where you have current layer and then underlying layer. What you wanna do is, of course, you can move this, tab, uh, move this tab. You can see this is kind of what the effect is if you do do the opposite of what we're doing. We're actually not moving the entire tab, which is still looks kind of cool when I look at it. Just another variation, of course, right? But you hold Alt on your keyboard to split this anchor point, just like so, and this will actually make it a lot more smoother, and you get this really more cool, subtle transparency effect that you can't get otherwise, which is also pretty freaking cool, and literally just like that, it's done. That's it, that's the effect overall. I can zoom in, I can move this around to kind of show you guys a little bit more how it's only taking the highlights, which in this case, of course, the skin color is a little more highlighted, right? So that's kind of what's happening in this case right here. Now, of course, like I said before, I can flip these colors as well. Go to reverse, boom, you get the reverse colors, and now this is gonna look a little more crazier where the black is, of course, acting as a shadow as it should be. With that being said, it can work both ways. It's pretty cool. Now, for the record, it's super, super easy to do this really quickly as well again. So I can copy this layer style. I can delete it if I want to, boom, right? And I'll just paste in, I already have a loaded up texture and I'm gonna put it down here and uh, I'm gonna right click and then I'm gonna do clip mash just like so and then right click on this paste layer style there you go it's simple as that I can go back into this and kind of move this over a little bit so with that being said it's not my favorite effect though to be fair it's not it doesn't have enough uh, highlights in it so I would be careful with like choosing the right colors but also if I reverse this this does look a bit pretty cool of course you can layer mask this cut this out you know I don't want to give you guys too many ideas but with that being said that is the effect that I hope you guys do enjoy and have a little bit of fun with it it's super super versatile you throw in like a nice cool font like you know watch this Boom, right? And it could be all good. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Of course, that's what HQ out. You have to get to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive, guys. Later, much love, peace, enjoy your day. Yo, what is up, guys? And welcome to Displace Volume 1. 20 text effects, unlimited variations, one product. All you guys have to do is hop into Photoshop, run out your text of choice, filter, distort, displace, choose your displace and amounts, and you're done. 20 awesome text effects to choose from, available now. Enjoy. Yo. Yo, what's up, Seth?
Tessa. If you got the everything pack, you get that for free. Duh. <laughs>